Yo, yeah, welcome back guys, right. Adam's with me upstairs, we're at a customer's house that we did fuse board and we did kitchen, we've done everything. But now, uh, the lady, we fitted nine spotlights in the kitchen, which it'll be easy for me just to show you. Which through here has made life a billion times brighter. And she's so happy and so chuffed with it that it is a bit of a dim lounge that she has here. So we, she also wants the same thing, nine spotlights. It's almost exactly the same measurements as the kitchen, but we don't want to damage any of the ceiling. Luckily for us, the carpet and the bedroom upstairs is being changed next Friday, I think she said. So we're going to pull a bit back. It's chipboard because it's a fairly new house. So we're going to take a slither all the way out the middle, very similar to do that, the same thing that we did with the kitchen ceiling. We took a slither out the ceiling, but we're doing reverse, we're doing upstairs. So uh, the lady's up there with Adam, just running through some stuff. Best thing we've done, it's got a measurement of this light taking the measurement upstairs so we know where we're cutting, where the light is, where we need to access and put a joint box, where you get a box, ideal box, whatever you want to do. And uh, then we can come down here, once we've sort of got a plan of where joists are going and spotlights, cut some holes, run some cables, we've got a shaver point to go in and also a socket in the garage. Yeah. Hello everyone. Adam, I'm say nice. welcome back. Come stand next to me, mate, come on. Welcome back. Oh, I don't know what the hell you were doing there. I thought you were going for a kiss or something. Um, in your dreams. Let's not go there. Right, let's roll this back, mate. If you uh, do this. Uh, I've already, I just wanted to double check with the lady. We've already driven an X, driven? Written an X on the floor, uh, put the measurements on the back of my hand. I'll show you my new tattoo in a minute. Mom, hope you're not watching, because you will I'll tell me off. off. No, 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 sorry, we can just remeasure it. Uh, just roll your side, dude. Please. So this carpet. Yeah, 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 we need it all out of the way. Uh, all this bedroom furniture has been fitted recently, hence why all the edges of the carpet have sort of been taken up already in preparation. Uh, quick thank you to everyone that saw Adam and myself, Adam and I, obviously, at Elex, and come and said hello and had a picture, had a good chin wag. Had a great time, didn't we? I was there for two days, you were there for one. Are you talking to the radiator or me? No. Uh, um, but yeah, it was a good event, and uh, we might be going to the one in London, it depends. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Uh, right, let's get the measurements back out. 192248. 42. Sorry. Nearly. You let yourself down. That's a fabulous line. Go on. So the carpet's been sat. So do we get a full board up? Well, we don't need to go at the end. Right, I'm going to run the camera around so you guys can see. I've forgotten how to video stuff now, it's been that long. So we know there's a joist here. We're not having any down lights directly at the end. So we can do a cut there. We could take this board out if we wanted to. We probably will. Should we take full boards up or should we just take, should we do the slither like I said? Maybe just do a sliver to be fair. Straight down the middle and it's going to come out and just screw it back in. Because you know yeah. what it's like lifting these. No, I know. There's two ways. I, I think you can take the tongue and groove off it, um, which will be a smaller cut, but you're just running the blade down again. With a circular saw, I'm happy to set the depth. There'd be no plumbing around because it'd be set in the centre of the, the joist, not across the top. We'll do a channel. And the only issue we're going to have is this wardrobe, which has a base to it. We need to make sure that we haven't got a down light directly there. So I think we'll go in the lounge, go across the kitchen, measure the difference. If it's the same width, we can mirror image that across. If not, we'll just do a few more measurements. Try and get nine in. I think the joists are There's nine in it, so it's three, 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 isn't it? Yeah. But that way though, so it should be really Yeah, no, I'm saying it's just that last one. If it's there, if it's in the next one over. we'll double check, yeah. All right, we've been to the unit. We've got a circular saw, loads of drills, all that sort of stuff. Adam got a drink. Yes. Knipex. Nice tops, aren't they? Yeah. That's a rhino one. Rocking the rhino. If you need any trade insurance, guys. Personal indemnity, tool insurance, public liability, That's employees it. insurance. Hit rhino up. Rhino trade insurance. Use my code, Bundy10, and get 10% discount. You're welcome. 
Uh, at the ELX show, I bumped into Quick Fix JB, who actually sent me some stuff a while ago. I just never got around to using it. And it's always the, the awkward situation I'm in, to be completely honest with you guys. We were sponsored for a long time with Ideal. And the agreement was that I obviously don't use competitors, i.e. Wagos and whatnot. But Wagos only ever fit in these and to have an actual maintenance free joint uh, where there's, you don't have to use a tool to access it. They have to be Wagos. They have to be the manufacturer. They have to be the, the, the chosen lever connector, whatever you want to call it, for that enclosure to stop vibration and all that sort of stuff to make it maintenance free. Um, and I'm more than happy. We've got loads of Wagos. We use Wagos every now and then, especially the six mil ones, don't we, for yeah. cooker cables and whatnot. Uh, whether we have to join through, we want to block it off. So try and find something. We only leave two two ones in the van. We've got the new splice line ones, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to use some of them. What we've done, instead of actually cutting down the tongue and groove in here, uh, now where you can see that on the camera, we've done a long channel in the centre. This will help me not damage two boards. This will only be one board. We won't damage tongue and groove. We won't get the squeaks. We can cut this out. We can then put some silicone or whatever. It's a wasp. <gasps> it's one of them. Adam's highly allergic to wasps as well, so if it stings it, we'll all laugh. Uh, what we will do is put some, I think we've got some strong grip fill or whatever it is. We can stick that in, screw it down, stop the squeaking afterwards. And I think this is going to be a better method. We'll set the chop saw down to a certain distance, to a circular saw, so we can get the right depth that will just skim the top of the joists. Once we've got that up, I will nip downstairs, show you what we're doing with the down lights, and we'll start doing some rodding. Right, there's the first one. For some reason there's ducting in the floor. We've worked out there's a utility room. Over here, run it across. We're doing a cut joint, so we will brace this up with some wood. As you can see here, because the joist line is actually right on the corner of this, so we don't be taking any brand new wardrobes out. All right, we'll get this up, and then you'll be able to see where we're running. Sorry? Space in the troughs gap. The joist span, yeah, span. Uh, no, that should be, what, was it 500 on each one? There's tapes there, mate, if you want to check it. From centre to centre. 450? 600. Is it? Well, I'm not very good at my measurements. We all know this. Okay, downstairs, we've had a bit of a measurement and a fiddle and a fiddle? With measurements, that's what I meant. Uh, centre of the room that we figured out upstairs is smack bang on a joist, which is a shame because it's not the same in the kitchen. Um, so we've had to shift it over, so our measurements change ever so slightly. Adam, can I just, can you just tip that in the box, mate? There's some stuff in it. So above me, that should be centre. We've got the light fitting that goes on that going across. So we're shifting it across here. We've just done the old screwdriver in the ceiling, Adam's had a look. He, he said he just wants to give it a centimetre, shift that across there. But we're still going to do 800 from that wall and 800 from that wall because that sits really well from each edge so it's 800 squared so it's 800 from this wall 800 from that wall the only measurement will be slightly off by five centimeters ish yeah. isn't quite noticeable there's not a lot we can do with it because the tolerance of me shifting it this way by bringing that light fitting over there this way and that light fitting over that way to match that then is on a joist so everything will be in line on angles and everything like that but this fitting from this fitting and the same thing duplicate over there will be ever so slightly smaller. But because of the spread of the lounge, you won't tell anyway. So uh, we've got the date out. I'm going to whiz around, get these cut, and then find everything from upstairs, really. It should be quite straightforward. Bit of fishing. Done and dusted, guys. I like to say I did loads of hard work, but Adam did most of it. I measured it. He cut it. If you don't have yourself a date, a D-A-D-E, and why is it called a date, Adam? Dust. Airborne catcher. No. Sorry. Eliminator. Dust and debris eliminator, Dade. So See, in for a dyslexic guy. Oh, nailed it. Uh, if you use it correctly and you do it slowly and you push enough pressure on it and whatnot, um, you won't get any dust, literally zero, which is good. Uh, and I'm gonna clean up here afterwards anyway. The sofa's all getting changed, the carpet's getting changed, the walls are being painted. But uh, they're all in now, we've got nine across, we didn't hit one joist. And I don't know if you could tell from here, like I said earlier, with a tiny measurement out, on the far, far one's a bit closer, you cannot tell at all, at all. So happy days. Uh, I'm trying to think of some stuff that we bought from Elex. I bought these Snickers trousers, brought, no, bought. I get told with, is it bought or brought? 
I uh, brought. Be, um, yeah. No, I bought them. I get to. Uh, brought, I say this not all. Bought. No, I don't know. But if you bring something with you, you brought it. But if you bought, if you spent money on it, you bought it. Brought. Brought. Bought. Oh, oh my God! Please, I purchased these trousers from your lecture. The Snickers, whatever number they are, they're all right. Realise I need some vent here. Oh, oh, bit of leg action Look, there. Um, now you got them a bit dusty. I see what you mean with the lines. It's yeah, they, I, there was a ninety-nine pound pair at one hundred and fifteen, and these had like the lines in it to stop it ripping. Or I literally just pointed out my crotch. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I like them. Yeah, and I realised as well. We tried the Komodo ones the other week. We bumped into the guys, and I was like, one thing I did say to him is I really like you can zip the pockets, and then I realised as well. That's all the Snickers ones you can zip the pocket. So I purchased the Holfner's screwdriver set. Again. Again. I know I got given the first ones, but I wanted to get a new pair. And uh, every person, what have you had for free, Nick? Yeah. One thing free from the entire show. And I promise you that. I didn't go around asking for stuff. Um, we filmed lots of Trade Legends. You were there for one day. It was great. What else did we get? We got us off set square. Got us off a knife. Knife. And... Uh, that's about it, really. I didn't spend too much money. It's a right. change. Spent a lot on coffee and stuff instead. Yeah, and burgers and whatever. Now these are all cut. We'll go upstairs. We can start fishing some cables. No, actually, drill the joists. Yeah. Should have really done that before, Ed, but never mind. Drill the joists and we can start spider webbing across. That's all going to be our JB point. So really, we get to the furthest point, whether or not we go from there to here to here to here, there to there to there. To there. And then back there to there to there. There's loads of ways to do it. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Like this, it sure. all just goes everywhere. So yeah. we'll we'll show you the runs. There we are. So we started far side, linked, linked, across, linked, 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 across, linked, linked, linked. Uh, sorry, that was the last one. So this long one here is the long one there, which will go into our JB, which I'm just going to do in a little bit. And so we're just going to put some some JCC fire guards, uh, some bulbs where I put the lamps um, somewhere. I've pumped somewhere. Uh, anyway, dimmable. We'll change the switch over. We're going to get these on, and then I'll run you back through what we're going to be doing with the, putting the floor back down. Right, now we're ready to put the floor back down. Uh, what we have is obviously the cut here. We need to support that. We've got a bit of a CLS in the van. A bit long, I know. But I will brace that up so we will get half under the joint like that. We'll put loads of screws in that and make that nice and strong. Then the plan hoover out all the joints, clean any mess off there. And then we've got some CT1, which is there. I will put that on each joist as well. I'm gonna run a bead on each line as well. So if you end up getting one side, touching one side not, it will stop the squeaks if it's ever walked upon. Um, will it be a pain to get back up, Adam? Yes, it will, but it will stop the squeaks and it will give a bit more support. Just a tab across there and there. And then I'm just going to run down each side. Some people will call this absolutely overkill and a waste of time, but I've had it before with my own floorboards in my house where someone has pulled chipboard upstairs in my Lofka version before I brought it and didn't think much of it, had it carpeted uh, when we moved in. And then the amount of floorboards that squeaks, especially with my weight on it, it drives you insane. But to me to fix all that, I need to completely empty the loft which is the bedroom, the bed, everything, to pull the carpet up, to redo it all. And I'm not all about that, if I'm honest. If a customer pay me to do it, you might think about it, but when it's me, I'm like, nah, bruh. In theory, now, that should slot in lovely there, slot in lovely there. Got nice pads for it to go down. But I wanna make sure that it's in the center, so it's not rubbing one side and a big gap on the other. And that will prevent it from squeaking. Could run another bead in the centre, but I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Running across, and then we've got that little section to go back in there. And as much as I'd like to sit here and go, what a, what a fabulous job. I need to put some strengths in it. I need to put some more cross members in it, even though we've got CT1 on it. It flexes way too much. Obviously the first time, this is the first time I've ever done a channel like this. And I want to make sure that it's solid. You ain't going to go through it, but we've got too much of a flex there. I'm going to get some more CLS. We'll cut them and we'll do what we did up there just to re-strengthen it all. Just to prove you don't, don't think I'm full of it and say I'm going to do something and don't do it. There we go. 
I've got another six more cross members in by, uh, I think it's two by two wood, all the way across, a bit more CT1. I'll screw this back down, give it a little, little bounce test, and then uh, some CT1 more in the joints, and then we should be good to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, you've got a bit of underlaid dust, which we're gonna uh, hoover up in a second. Adam's just putting a light fit up with his very safe ladder. I'll pop you downstairs, we'll have a look at the lights, and then we'll wrap it up, guys. So, uh, it's been a good one. Nice. Okay, ready? Beautiful. Look at that. There's nine spots in here, JCC fire guards, uh, white bezels, I can't remember what lamp I put in it. Um, dimmable, we're gonna, we've ordered a, a Click Art Deco range brush chrome, which is the customers got in the kitchen. Adam's took the light fit from here, put it over here. Boom. So that's it for today. We've had a hoover up, we put the floor up downstairs. I've done a shave socket in the bathroom, leave them on for a minute and um, Adam's just changed the light fitting over in the, in the bedroom, bathroom as well. So uh, I'm trying to get some videos, I'm trying to get back into the swing of it. I'm still I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not, not like doing YouTube, I'm just need to get back in the swing of it. I'd be completely honest, I have no idea how I did it all before with three videos a week, every week. And uh, oh, I don't know, we'll get back there in the end. Why? So uh, <laughs> she's scared the hell out of me then. Is that, is that anyway. I'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye.